Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and this one's on uh, Rudaka and Sidorak from 2005. So on the front of the manual, which is uh, Rudaka, the only manual entry I have for this one, is I have the large Bonacle logo, Bonacle.com. Picture of Rudaka in a menacing pose, shooting off her Batuka spinner Lego logo. Uh, her name of Doctor there and set number eight seven six one. And front page of which is just another position of Rudaka and launching off her Rituka spinner. Then on the back, advertisement for the Bonkle Two movie and hint of Bonkle Three movie. <clears throat> then how to win on the online survey, and then. Uh, advertisement of Zidorak, who I who I'm also reviewing in this review, and Kitangu, who I previously reviewed, and then an advertisement of all the Vizorak, oh hang on, all the Vizorak and Hordito Hordika, and then instructions for the combiner model that Rudaka makes with Kitangu, of course. And then the last building steps for that. So first off with Zidorak here. Okay, yeah, it was quite tall and also kind of standard for most Titan sets from this time, as well as from the previous year, 2004 of course, but also quite neat color scheme to see here of uh, dark red and black and some silver a bit uh, which kind of bit like with the scrawl in the two in the 2000 or like the scrawl range in the 2009 Glatorian ones of course but still neat to see here but on a Titan set of course So here, which is the feet, which comprises mostly just some technic bits of it, with the uh, throwbot foot pieces, but in dark red, great to use for mocking, of course, and have the Borak eye teeth also in dark red and in black for that. And one of those interesting connector pieces, which are also used on the legs, that, but just have to kind of pivot the ankles a bit, and then also another one is to help with one of those pieces in black to help with stability and then as for the leg pieces which are just the traditional uh, boxy limbs but in dark red and also with viscerac foot pieces in black as shin armor of course and then as for the ankles here or the upper legs, which quite interesting, built interestingly, which almost kind of like the Vox, but just with different bits added to it, and like you get the Technic tubing acting as for the front of the legs, and on the sides of the legs are Tometru feet acting as like armor or something, and also windboards are a couple more of those pieces then. And on the back side are some Technic beams to hold it all up together, of course. And then as for the main torso bit, which kind of going in the Y shape kind of style, like most of the sets from this era, of course, or time of it. It's like, and also the Toa Matru chest armor plate as like lower torso plate armoring and also the main chest armor consisting of a, a Metru Matoran uh, body armor kind of piece. And if you notice why one side is a, a pin there and one side is an axle rod for, well that's kind of a thing in the arms which I'll show later and as for the uh, upper part which which branch out in the Y shape fashion yet again and also have those uh, slicer feet in dark red yet again and on the back side which is 
just plain a uh, silver and kind of beam and that again, of course. Now, as for the arms here, is as you see, which do have these like gear kind of pieces, like we saw with uh, the with Kodok and Godok, but back in 2002, and also holding these Technic bits onto it, and also this Toa Nuva armor piece, but in dark red, nice to see there, and going on to these two limb pieces, a Toa Metri limb and Rakshi limb, and making the forearm for that. And then also the arms are asymmetric, which for this arm, do have one of those coat hanger kind of bar pieces, but holding some bits to it, and also two of which holding two Toamata golly hooks then. And you can fold right upwards, take this out, and got the Rituka spinner. And, and of course you can like take the rip core, and like all the sets, stick in, and then let it fly off. So of course, kind of a nice hidden feature in there, of course. And as for the other arm here, which is just one of those bent beams, and also go into one of those kind of snap tubes, like we saw with uh, Nidiki and uh, Divok the year prior. But however, it's just one single feature to that, and as to flip this. Uh, could, Liwanuva katana uh, outwards. And of course, although in the Web of Shadows movie, which did have a whole hand kind of attached to that, although you could like modify it to have that. And lastly, is for the head here, is, which is built mostly with a, a Toa Metru headpiece. For that bit with these few kind of technique bits around it, like this, like another slicer foot piece, but in silver, acting as the main mouth part, and Borak eye teeth in dark red as the eyes, of course, and also a couple of tubes going downwards from the top of the head and downwards, like that. And of course, in the Web of Shadows movie, have plenty of smoke coming out from that. And so now that's about it with Zidorak, of course. And now on to his yet-to-be queen and main tyrant, uh, which Rudaka. Which as you can see. Yeah, which kind of similar build to that, but uh, but of course in black and uh, silver for that. Kind of a neat color scheme for that. And from first glance does have some kind of feminine vibes to that. But, even though we don't usually get that for most female characters in Bonacle, but of course this was one of the first and only times I've seen that here. So starting out with the, the feet here, which are just on interesting uh, uh, curved kind of bar pieces and going out to the two Borak eye teeth, but in silver for that. And then to the back sides of them are the uh, Toa Metru foot pieces in silver, which I think might be first time in that color. I'm not sure. No. Oh wait, it is first time in that color. And then for the upper leg of which comprised mostly a Vlaki limp, but in dark black, or I mean in black, and Viserac foots in black, like we saw on Zidorac. And then upwards for the thighs here. And they're built of mostly you know, some various technic bits to that, sort of like Zidorax was. So hang on. But with some extra bits into there. But also with a Robo Rider headpiece, but in black, plain black for that. Kind of neat to use for mocks, of course. 
And of course, side bit switch, just a couple of beams here and a Borak eye tooth in silver again. And then on the back side, which just those little beams still used from the throwbots, of course, but now in black, of course. And as for the torso bit, the witch, the witch kind of intricate for that. Like a few beams right here, but also a slicer foot piece, but in silver, and a little tube onto there, of course, and a toe metro foot in black there, and that piece again for that. And also, uh, Rakshi head pieces in silver, uh, with, but used as her uh, breastplates. Thanks for that. But of course, this piece of which in silver, great to use for mocks, of course. But then on to the back side of her, which just another toe metro foot here, and of course, has those kind of bent bar pieces going outwards, like. Most of the Titan sets from this Metro Nui times. And then downwards have a, a Pohatu foot piece acting as the uh, rear armor piece for some reason, but whatever. Then now it's for the arms of which were again also asymmetric, same with Zidorak and Kitangus. Whereas this one, which just a extended. Viserac limb, but also a Rakshi limb with a Borak eyepiece in there. And unlike all the sets, which, where instead of having the rip, uh, rip cord as a separate piece, it's actually part of her kind of thing. But so then you have to like pull this little bit off to make the Ritukas spinner work for that. And it's just made a few extra bits to that kind of so kind of interesting how that is so, but also good to have some diversity in sets of course and as for the other armor which was just have the shorter uh, socket joint piece for that and also her Rituka stopper which kind of like Kitangu's ones but instead of the Borak shields it's of a hot Nuva claws, you know, and as you can twist and spin like so. And of course, this feature we also see on some of the Axel Force sets, also from this time. And, but good to see some crossover features there, of course. And as for the head piece, of, or the head, which is kind of the most interesting of all, see, which is a Vaki head piece in black. And uh, Exoforce Roborai or Robot uh, hand pieces, but in trans red, but although, or trans orange, but in the Web of Shows movie, it was used, they were used, they were supposed to be in blue for some reason. But of course, I guess they chose orange to represent when uh, Makuta's uh, heart stone takes control of her, her a little later in the movie. And then have Technipix uh, used out to make a mouth for that that you can open and close. And also, for some odd reason, a, a glow in the dark Lego stud on there. Or not sure why that is, but although I think uh, gray or silver could have worked out just fine for that. And then, as for these side bits, which, which have these Technic bits. I was acting as additional hair for that, but also with the Borak tooth pieces in silver for that. Then the back side, which have a Viserac foot piece in silver. First time of that piece in this color for that. But although in the Web of Shadows movie, it was like really long going quite far downwards. But it's not, although for, if you're a Machis, you I'm sure you could like figure out how to make a long version of that if you wanted. I guess that is about it with Daka. And so now on to the final version. That overall I think these which are 
which are quite cool sets. Like, like you do get plenty of good recolors of pieces, and also some in unique designs added into them, like for Sidorak, like for the upper limbs, and also for the shoulders. I also forgot to mention that one arm kind of flaps around a lot, but one is kind of sturdy. It is posable and sturdy, which I don't understand why. Okay, for that. But, and now, uh, yet again, and whereas for Rudaka, Rudaka, which does have some kind of unique uh, designs Just to give her some plenty of feminine vibes, like we don't get to see much through, which we don't see throughout Bonacle. Well, even though uh, uh, Golly and Gen 2 kind of did that, kind of did so as well, but whatever. But, and of course, how throughout the years, most of the sets were just copies of that, and also good to have another female character outside the water element. And, but yeah, and of course, why have both of these sets of which, since they are the rulers of the Viserac hordes, obviously. And of course, as for the Rituka spinner features, kind of interesting how they were built into that. Like Zidorax for his hand, and Rudaka's kind of with the ripcord part of her, of course. And of course, these also do work out as good parts packs of black, dark, red, and silver for that. And of course, good to have the Rakshi heads in silver. For, well, in the case of Rudaka, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and st are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.